Welcome back. We are in week two, or taping two weeks in advance. We're taping four episodes in advance with NXT, which is something that I would actually thoroughly enjoy to a degree because it would give me the opportunity to focus on the taping, I mean, the touring schedule, and also it would give me the opportunity to focus on other things. I am going to eventually book the women's champion, but I'm saving that for takeover. I'm not saving that. I'm not doing that now. On television, I'm not going to book as if the champion has been here. I mean, I'm not going to book as if the champion was here. Um, I am more going to book as if the champion was not. Uh, wait a second. Like, that we still don't have a champion. Because I'm going to ignore the... I'm going to ignore that aspect of things. Just just for now, because I want to save it for the pay-per-view. Just for now, because I want to save it for the pay-per-view. And I'm also going to try and anticipate, based on popularity, who will get called up first and who will still be with me. And book as if that was the case. And yes, the women's division is actually getting two matches tonight. Um, instead of just the one, just to give them a little, I mean, not that it really matters, but just to give them a little bit more of the spotlight. I do think it is entirely possible that the idea of I do think it is entirely possible the idea that um what's it called? That the idea that um Cassius Sono and Sami Zayn could be up relatively fast but we'll see what happens in that regard I do think that if anybody's going to get called up first it would be those guys but there is, or there are, tag teams that I would love to work with tonight. And the tag teams that I would love to work with tonight are... Or the tag team I would love to work with tonight is... The one tag team that I have not hit. And the one tag team that I have not hit is... Um... The Ascension. I might actually bring her in because Maxine was somebody that I thought did well in Lucha Underground. And I would love to bring her in and have her work NXT. Again. I would also, Elias. Um, I would also wonder if somebody like Raven could come in and work NXT. Or, you know, like, Ricky Morton, like, can I have somebody, can I have, I guess I can. Well, I guess Raven actually, I mean, Ricky Morton doesn't have anybody he hates. Raven can come in too. Okay, so that answers my question. So I could do, like, low, you know, I could book, I could book like a territory almost. You know, I could book like a territory almost. Oh, and interesting. Well... What are you? Oh, you're a big star up in Canada. Scott Hall. Haku. Tori Wilson. Trevin Adams. He's a guy with the NWA. Uh, Victor Connor. White Tiger. And. And Ricky Martinez. Connor. And.
I may I don't undersell title chances. Got to promote Connor and Victor. I mean, do you understand? Like, it's crazy to think how NXT was with, you know, with talent like this, that they had the Wyatt family down here and they had the Ascension down here together. So they had two dominant forces on the roster at the same time. Just steamrolling, steamrolling talent. But now, Bray Wyatt. It is noble that you aren't afraid. But man, you should be afraid. Because when the lights go out, There is only one that you can see. I'm just thinking about it right now. Imagine the opportunity to do a feud with Bray Wyatt and Raven. Very similar characters. I, I would love the opportunity to do that, but I just don't know if Raven would be the ideal person to try and put over Bray Wyatt. See, I had the opportunity. I had the idea of bringing somebody in to feud with Biggie, that being Chase Stevens, having him go against a veteran, a guy known in the Southeast Tennessee territory, yada yada yada, and have him feud with Chase Stevens. But the fact of the matter is, Chase Stevens didn't sign before the television, and I wasn't aware that I was going to book four weeks of TV. So, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? I wasn't aware that I was booking four weeks of television. So, there's that. Dusty thinks I'm not ready for all comers. Well, dream. Be ready to be proven wrong. Uh, Jason Jordan. Let's go. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up Cassius Ono versus Sami Zayn for for um takeover. I'm going to set up Cassie Sono versus Sami Zayn for TakeOver. The reason why I'm not making it a feud is because if, hypothetically speaking, TakeOver is the third week in May, let's say, there is, I think, entirely possible, it is entirely possible that WWE could send me the report saying Cassie Sono and Sami Zayn, one of them could be coming up. I mean, it's doubtful. I, do, I can tell you that William Regal is coming up. So William Regal is getting the call up for the main roster or to the main roster, um, which I'm disappointed by because looking at him, I would love to be able to use William Regal in NXT, but that's why Dusty Rhodes is here because Dusty's still down here for me to use him as the general manager of NXT and benefit from having somebody like Dusty Rhodes down on the down here in developmental. But either way, and Dante Dash is getting the opportunity to perform on the pre-show again against Danny Burch this week. 
Dante Desch wins again. But Dante Desch is again showing his lacking entering his lack of entering ability. So I think maybe pulling him up would be something that I need to do to get him a little bit better. Angel Rose showing potential. Angel Rose showing potential. Good job. Solid job there. White Tiger showing potential too. I mean, he did better than he did better better than Victor. White Tiger showing potential. Solid. Good job, Byron. Thank you, Bray. Paige did solid. I mean, uh, what's her name? Angel Rose did better than A Ashley Miller, and Ashley Miller's on a contract with me. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Maybe Big E should be on his own. No, no interviewer. Cassius Ono, solid main event, and solid finish. Again, we gained popularity. But this is also the last episode of NXT that we're taping, and I think I'm going to split up the takeover as it's and give takeover its own. So I'm going to be getting a lot of footage from this thing. I'm enjoying it so far. Honestly, the stress level is down. Honest, <clears throat> the one thing that I like about booking a developmental is, especially this developmental, is I get to work with people like Baron Corbin, like Big E, like, you know, uh, Corey Graves and... Mojo and Enzo and Cass and Jason Jordan and Cassia Sono and you know guys like that 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 are now stars in wrestling nowadays 10 years on but also the expectation is down where I don't have the expectation that I have to you know that the expectation isn't oh you got to get this or you got to get that or you got to do this or you got to do that you know the the expectation isn't as high with you know, with, um, with, um, what's it called? With, um, the expectation isn't, isn't as high with ratings and stuff like that because of the type of company that you are. Sorry, Chet. I mean, sorry. But I also know that it is, how do you put it, ideal that, you know, you can't let Aiden English go a month without being, without being booked. Because that's kind of the point of developmental. You got to give him matches. You got to let him get, you got to let him develop. So speaking of that, we'll put Aiden English and CJ Parker. Because you got to see what we have. We got to see what we have. You know, we, we got to see what we have here. We got to see what we have here with CJ and Aiden English. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it to them and allow them to have a feud because I think it would be a good thing to have the feud. I think. Because it would keep these two occupied while I do other things with the world title. At takeover proves nothing. I will end Sami Zayn.
Um, and the one thing that I will say that I'm ignoring is the fact that on NXT, not every rivalry was pushed every week. You know, that's one thing that I need to learn to address is that every feud was not pushed every week. But also when you only have two or three feuds, it's hard not to want to push every feud. You know, it's hard not to want to push every feud, I do believe. Because you don't have many feuds, so what, what are you pushing on television? So you got to push something, and when it comes down to it, if you don't push the feuds, what are you pushing? Like, if you're not going to push the feuds, then what are you pushing? And also, I just want to point out the reason why the tag team title feud would be pushed week to week is because the fact of the matter is, I don't have other babyface tag teams. So who the hell is going to be put? Who, who the hell is going to be? If I do a tag team match, then who the hell is going to be working? You know what I mean? If I do a tag team match, then who the hell is going to be working if I don't have any other babyface tag teams? Which I guess is something that I should spend the month of May working on and rectifying because, well, we need other babyface tag teams and just the tag team champions. Because my last... This choice is the right one. I like Danny Birch. To be honest with you, I, I like Danny Birch. I think Danny Birch is a viable, you know, I love, uh, what, Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan. They fantastic tag team. But I love Danny. I like Danny Birch, and I like him as somebody that I can uh, put in here and there, or slot into the spot. He's like a, he's like a utility player almost. If you want to rematch Cassius, then let's run it back, bro. Keep it simple. Keep it straight. If you want a rematch, let's run it back. Yes, I will point out that Big E has yet to compete on programming. Big e, because Big E has yet to compete on programming. But I will also point out that the one thing that I am not doing is I am not rushing... With Biggie, uh, what am I not? What am I not doing? Um, I am not. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna rush to put on the takeover because the takeover initially was supposed to take place on week two, but I'm gonna slide it back to either week three or week four. Because I want to be able to position, I want to be able to position um, another title reign. I mean, uh, uh, like I want to stretch things out. Basically, I want to stretch things out. Basically, 
So also I may crown the women's champion on the tour because there's a weekly live tour that I can do that I do. So that's also where Big E is going to face Shay Stevens. So I will likely just crown the champion there. You took a shortcut last time. And I want another shot at the championship. Which he agrees. Because the way Big E is playing it now is Big E is going to be that he is the champion. That there's no buddy that can measure up to Big E. He is the champion. Nobody measures up to him. Aiden English and uh, hot start. Good, good job. Aiden and CJ Parker. Cassius did as well as I expected. Byron did as well as I expected. Baron Corbin, I mean, guess as well as I expected. Now Jake Carter and Enzo can probably oh, probably work the tour. Sammy, I mean, there's a reason why Cassius Ono and Sammy are going to feud because basically they're the top dogs and there's no reason why they shouldn't feud because it gives me the opportunity to best benefit from the ratings by having those guys work the main event or work the top feud behind Big E and whoever Big E's feuding with. Again, the reason why I picked Chase Stevens, there is no reason in particular. I just picked a veteran. I just picked somebody that can carry himself on the mic and Big e, uh, and Chase Stevens was the first person I saw. But also, we have some adjustments to do, so I will see you guys, I will you will see this series again at the next at the first takeover but if you're enjoying this series let me know down in the comment section below as this is something that i used to do all the time but have not done in recent years because well i lost interest to be honest with you but i've regained interest in doing this and i probably will not keep this up to date as well as like doing it weekly or daily, or whatever the case is, but the fact of the matter is, I will keep you guys up to date on how things go, and if things change, especially when it comes to people getting called up, especially when it comes to people getting called up, I will let you guys know how that goes, but either way, if you're enjoying this series, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one.